Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mall channel, your source for on point and no hype reviews. We are back yet again, everybody. We are back with another fragrance review today on my day off. And this fragrance right here, I cannot wait to give you guys my no hype feedback on this fragrance. And I guess the moment I mentioned Latafa on the community tab, a lot of y'all had this telepathic feeling that I was going to review this fragrance right here. Now, before I continue, please do not forget to like and subscribe, guys, okay? Liking, subscribing, and watching the ads is a great big deal to this channel, guys. It does support a lot of this buying that I do when it comes to the samples, guys. And of course, guys, we are nearing 13,000 subscribers. So really, all you got to do is do a couple clicks, like and subscribe, and it is a big support already to us. So thank you so much for your support. Now, the fragrance that we will be talking about today is is none other than La Tafa Kamra. La Tafa Kamra right here. And La Tafa, this is a fragrance brand that is causing a lot of tidal waves right now in the fragrance community, primarily because a lot of their fragrances are great smelling. And of course, they are super duper cheap, guys. Okay, I'm saying cheap right here because, you know, even when I thought that some of these fragrances were $60. Some of y'all reported to me that you were getting these fragrances at $20, okay? So $20 for a great smelling fragrance is pretty amazing, guys, especially with this climate, this economic climate right here. Now, before even looking into the scent, breaking this scent down, guys, what's the first thing you guys noticed when you looked into Latafa Camera right here? For me, guys, obviously, visually, the first thing I noticed was the bottle. And the bottle looked strikingly similar to By Killian's Angel's Share, <laughs> okay? Which is really one of my favorite fall winter fragrances right here. This one really looked like it. So one of the big questions I had, and I'm sure you guys are asking it too, is, is Latafa Camera a clone of By Killian Angel Share, okay? That's one of the big questions right there. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the book is already closed on that because I had already reviewed two clones of By Killian Angel Share. That's going to be Brooklyn Fragrance Lover by Alexandria, as well as the Dua guys. And as far as I know, those were pretty good clones of By Killian Angel Share. Now, if there's one thing I do know regarding Latafa fragrances, as well as similar Middle Eastern fragrance houses that are popular because they clone existing popular fragrances, is that they actually don't make exact copies of those fragrances. What they do is they take the notes that are really good on the original and they do a few edits here and there to come up with sort of like a hybrid, okay? Or like a new fragrance that has similar properties to the original, but it's not exactly a copy. It's not an exact clone like those Duas or Alexandrias. Take for example, Al Rehan by Atar Collection. You guys recommended that to me when I made that Baldia Freak comparison video, guys. I mean, that one you guys were saying was close to Baldia Freak, but better. And I noticed that as I was trying out this fragrance, they added Turkish Delight, for example, to the existing Baldi Freak concoction right there. So that's what I mean. I really think that really these Middle Eastern houses, they don't make exact clones. They do some added or subtracted notes right here to come up with a final product. But usually because they keep a lot of the well-known, well-liked notes in the mix. That is why a lot of people love their fragrances. So anyways, let's find out more about Latafa Camera. Let's go spray this thing right now. Mm. Okay guys, now let's look into the opening notes of Latafa Camera right here. Now right here in the opening notes, you are going to get cinnamon, as well as nutmeg and bergamot right here. Now, cinnamon, guys, is going to be your most prominent, most long-lasting, and strongest note right here in the beginning. And if you have a good scent memory of By Killian Angel's Share, 
this is probably the time where you'll get that as you are smelling the opening of La Tafa Cambra right here. Cinnamon is a prominent note in By Killian Angel Share. It is found in the mid of that fragrance right there. You are going to get it right here in the opening. So right here as you spray this fragrance initially you are going to get a sweet and spicy blast of cinnamon. Again very very prominent. You guys know it's a curve. You guys know it's going to be strong guys because of course it's La Tafa. You are going to get a lot of cinnamon right here. Now the thing that's interesting to me was the addition of nutmeg and bergamot here in the opening guys and if you look at the bergamot you're probably thinking what does bergamot have to do with this guys okay bergamot right here angel share well here's the thing guys when it comes to La Tafa Camera the one thing that angel share has that it doesn't have is going to be that cognac accord. It's going to be the booziness of Angel Share that, you know, really is aligned with the concept of Angel Share. But right here in Kamra, where there is no concept, guys, they don't have that cognac opening right here on Kamra. So instead, what they did was they added a second dimension of the spice with the nutmeg. So you're gonna get another dimension. You're not just gonna get pure cinnamon. You're gonna get scent memories of Angel Share, but then you have have that second dimension of the nutmeg and in terms of the initial uplifting sense awakening part that is where they brought in the bergamot right there so in angel share you do get the cognac to really wake up your senses before it gets into the cinnamon but then here guys you have bergamot which believe me guys it's a nice addition right here I like the bergamot right here the bergamot does awaken your senses kind of like that angel share style not exactly the same but it will in a way and it does mix with that cinnamon nutmeg blend to create a wonderful impactful opening right here and even if you haven't tried angel share you're gonna get a kick out of it absolutely because you're gonna get the warm spicy and sweet feel of the cinnamon spice as well as the nutmeg and then your senses will awaken because of that bergamot and this is perfect right now for this kind of weather outside it is getting cooler thank god the last time i checked the weather i mean we got like a day where we got 67 degrees and as you guys know a few days before i was complaining at how the weather was in the hundreds now we're at the 60s so it's the perfect time to be wearing these warm sweet and spicy perfumes like Cumbra right here but again i really liked how they didn't go the cognac route it's not the angel share route but it does give you a similar feel thanks to that nutmeg and bergamot right here now right here in the mid you are going to get the notes of praline as well as tuberose mahonio and dates these dried fruits called dates that's popular in the middle east now right here in the mid i will say that the most prominent note is going to be your praline guys and praline is a confectionery note that has feels of brown sugar mixed with chocolate hazelnut guys okay and this one right here is again a warm dry and sweet note that is very very dominant right here in the mid but before even getting into the mid let me tell you that the cinnamon part of La Tafa Camera lasts a long time, okay? Like two hours, two hours of cinnamon spice. And we've heard feedback, negative feedback from people that are saying, hey, if you wanna smell like a cinnamon bun, then go wear Camera, okay? <laughs> I mean, I've heard about that. Now that's partially true because the cinnamon lasts a while past the bergamot, which really doesn't last more than 10 minutes, past the nutmeg that really doesn't last more than 10 minutes. So it's a lot of cinnamon really, guys, headed into the mid. But the thing is, guys, because the praline shares very similar qualities to the cinnamon, like I said, it's got that brown sugar feel, similar to cinnamon right there, you are going to get a lot of continuity to the point where you can't really distinguish which one is cinnamon and which one is praline. So really in the end, you're getting a longer stage of that brown sugar, hazelnut, cinnamon combination right here, which is a good thing, guys. It's just that it's really hazy and there's not a lot of note separation right here in the mid. Now, because of that thick blanket, guys, the dates, guys, you can really pick them out only if you smell this a little bit closer, guys. You're gonna get the dates, definitely, and the tuberose mahonial, guys, these white floral smells 
again, are going to be buried underneath that cinnamon praline combination. And they act as balancers to give you, you know, somewhat of an uplifting surge right there. But again, it's not going to be enough. I think it's just a balancer. The cinnamon sweet warming spice as well as the praline is really going to take over this mid right here. Now, if there's one thing that I've learned with these cheap Middle Eastern houses, guys, is that yes, they do use a lot of very appealing notes. They use almost every appealing note out there and that is the best thing about them. But also, the one thing you won't get though is you won't get a lot of note separation, okay? You're not gonna get the notes really standing out at least on equal footing because really the appealing notes are gonna go right on top of them and maybe that's why a lot of these houses have cheap perfumes because they're not really using a good amount of everything okay that's one thing that I think it's my hypothesis that they're using a lot more of the blanketing notes rather than these other notes like tuberose for example I can barely barely smell any tuberose in here guys and that's because you have an overwhelming amount of cinnamon spice so I think that's the case guys and I also tried this when I tried eternal oud by Latafa when it came to the mid it got all murky you know what I mean? It's not like the mid of some perfumes where you have these standout notes. It got murky. You have thick blankets of something. And the thing though is that these types of fragrances with like one, you know, like one type of smell will really appeal to those that like designer scents. If you like designer scents, you're gonna like Latafa. That is for sure because the notes are kind of all in unison and there's always gonna be a stronger theme than the others. It's not going to be a breakdown of different notes that will make you feel different things. And it's also not going to change. So that is one thing that a lot of people that like designer, that's what they like. They don't like a lot of change. They like one thing, appealing, compliment getting, okay, same, similar, warm and sweet. And you are going to get that with Latafa. Again, that's why I think it's cheap. I think it's cheap because of the ingredients. I think that there are stronger notes stronger oils that really make the other notes, the other ingredients cost less because they're barely there. Again, right here, it's a lot of sweet, warm, and spicy. And the same thing goes for the dry down, guys. Right here on the dry down, it gets sweet, warming and woody guys okay so initially you are going to get vanilla as well as tonka bean those are the prominent notes of the dry down right here there's myrrh which i was surprised i was like myrrh that's usually an expensive ingredient but i can barely smell the myrrh here it's really going to be vanilla tonka bean and then eventually hours later on the eighth hour it gets ambery you're gonna get amber benzoin and of course some woods however the woods right here do not resemble the angel share one because the angel share has oak and that is a really prominent dry woody note guys that here on the ending of latafa cambra it's just woody amber as well as vanilla tonka bean. Now, performance-wise, this is what everyone is raving about regarding Latafa Kamra, especially the longevity guys, okay? So the longevity of Latafa Kamra to me, significant scent is 10 hours. It's 10 hours significant scent of both an aura, which is slightly past you right here, and a draw in because of those sweet warm and ambery facets right there i think is going to draw people in for sure but for me it is a 10 hour significant scent fragrance now does that die after 10 hours no in terms of the skin scent where i can still kind of smell it on me here and there i don't count that in it lasted up to 16 up to 16 hours of that skin scent right there. So maybe if you sprayed this on clothes, you might get a longer lasting effect from Latafa Kamra right here. Again, it's an aura and a draw in scent as well as a long lasting significant scent right here, 10 hours. And of course this fragrance is most usable during the fall, winter or any cool environments guys. It's definitely sensual, but of course it is sweet and warming, which makes it very inviting. And again, this is what Latafa did. They didn't exactly copy Angel Share. I mean, they didn't even have a concept. Angel Share was based on the Hennessy concept made by Killian 
And this one right here, this doesn't have a concept. This is basically a mishmash of the really good, sweet and warming notes of Angel Share. And so that's why they ended up with the name Kamra, which is, you know, good scent. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like these guys were sitting down and they're like, man, we don't have anything to name this fragrance. Let's just call it good scent because it is what it is. <laughs> and that's how they came up with Kamra. So it is definitely a good scent. Again, it has those warm and sweet properties. It's not angel share. Again, it may be uh, a distant cousin or it might remind you of angel share, but I'm not going to count it as a clone of Angel Share. Matter of fact, it could be its own scent right here. And again, the price is wonderful on this one, $60 as far as I know, and I'm sure some of y'all will come back and say, yeah, I got it for 20. Okay, whatever, you win. But as far as I know, it's $60 for a bottle of Latafa Camera. Real cost effective, guys. But again, this will appeal to those that like designer. Angel Share would win over this simply because you have note separation, you have the concept as well as the fragrance aligning pretty well to that concept. This one right here will get you a lot of warm and sweet all throughout, much like a designer fragrance. It will be effective, it will have all the notes working in unison and so that is why this is popular with a lot of fragrance heads right here especially again with the price in conjunction with the scent being impactful performing great smelling you've got a winner right here with latafa camera right here all right so that is it that is my review on latafa camera let me know on the comments below what y'all think of this fragrance right here do you love it do you own it is this something you would rather use than paying $200 for Angel Share? Let me know on the comments below. And if you guys have any other suggestions regarding Latafa fragrances or any cheap Middle Eastern houses that you would love for me to try and review, let me know on the comments below as well. And please do not forget to like and subscribe. Again, we're headed to 13K guys. So please continue to support the channel right here. And I'll see you guys on my next video. God bless. Take care. Peace.